Oh god. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let's not mess by stepping into the dark. Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. Today we're playing Dark Phobia. We're playing as this adorable little girl back here. And she has to turn off all the lights before she goes to bed. But there's gonna be something lurking in the darkness. Aren't mommy and daddy back yet? I'm so sleepy. Mom said I should turn off the lights before going to bed, but I'm scared of the dark. Turn off all the lights before going to bed to sleep. First turn off the chandelier in the middle of the room. Find the lamp switch to interact. So, interesting, this... Look, I know kind of what they're going for, but it almost looks like that chandelier is anchored to the ground, and, uh... Yeah, until you see the parallaxing, it looks like it's anchored to the ground and, like, floating up to the ceiling. Which is kind of neat. Alright, so... The room turned dark. It's scary. We still need to turn off the lights in the piano and in the utility room. Rotate the mouse wheel to zoom out and see the whole picture. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we can kind of see a whole lot. What does this say? A small note. Are you still not used to your new home? The light switch is nearby. Yeah, so if I turn that on, then what does this say? The utility room has not been tidied up yet. Please pay attention for safety. I know you're afraid of the dark. There's a light behind the door. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's turn this on. So it's supposed to be kind of like a a puzzle game of sorts. Oh god. Okay, yeah, let's let's not mess by stepping into the dark. And if we close off that, perfect, perfect. And then I need to go turn off this piano. One more to go, it's getting darker and darker. I'll run to bed as soon as I turn off the light, I probably won't be caught. At least I have my little nightlight by the bed to protect me. After turning off the lights, approach the nightlight as soon as possible to go to bed. Oop, there we go. And off to sleep. Aww, she looks so happy. Good night. This is actually nice, I like this. This is like, I don't know, charming is the wrong word, but... It's very adorable. It's it, it's nice to play. All right, so let's see. I see a uh, lamp over there. Yeah, it's kind of it has those like kind of spooky puzzle vibes, and as you guys know, one of my favorite game mechanics in the world. All right, so I I assume I need to get probably all the way to bed. Well, here let's let's see what's out here. So. It's kind of interesting, too, that the, uh... Yeah, the game, like... I kind of expected there to be a monster or something, not just... The kid is actually afraid of the dark. Also, oh, look, they have a pet. Diary Fragment 2. The fever has gone down today, but I still feel uncomfortable. Every day I wake up, the house feels a little more unfamiliar. What should have been the hallway suddenly turned into the living room, once I got lost in the hallway on the way back to my room. The house is so big, empty, and strange. Okay, is there something more sinister going on here? Is there like... Oh. Oh, that looked weird for a sec. Yeah, it's probably... It's just like the hair isn't rendering right. Alright, and then I... Aha! Perfect. There we go. So let's see. So I turn that off. And then... Run, run, run. Alright, yeah. It, it's... It's a neat idea. I'm actually kind of really enjoying this. Again, it's very simple, but not really in, like, a bad way. What the fuck was I doing? Why did I turn off that light? I still need that on. God, I'm stupid. What? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, so there actually is something in the darkness. She doesn't just freak out. Okay, that poor kid. Alright, well first off, I just realized, yeah, wash your hands, kiddo. Let's go ahead and make sure you, you know, you stay clean. Don't want you making a mess of anything. Yeah, so let's go... Yeah, let, let's let's go kind of turn on everything that we can. Let's go get all of the lights on, and then I'll decide. Yeah, I think I was just being stupid, although... Yeah, I guess so I needed a light to turn on the lamp. I mean, that, that's actually good to know. Yeah, that's that's good to know that that's, like, a requirement. And I can't turn on that little lamp there, really. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I kind of have a rough order of operations here. Uh, so let's see. So I definitely am going to need to turn off you. And you. Come on, come on, come on, kid. There we go. I'll flip that switch later. And then, let's see. Can I go... If I go here... Yeah, I want to turn off this. Actually, no. I think I want to... I want to turn off that second so that I'm... I'm a little closer, because I, I think I almost ran out of time. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then if I hit you, run, 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 run. Go up here. Almost, almost. Yeah, let's keep all that closed. And then we go off to sleep. Kind of weird that there's like a little window right into the bedroom there. But I guess it is what it is. Also, that I wonder if that means I missed a diary fragment. Product manual. Babble table lamp X1000. Eye protection, warm light, super long life. Support 360 degree rotation. Children's good learning part. Ah, I see. Oh, that, that's actually really nice. This is just like a really clever game. Yeah, this is actually... It wasn't quite the same idea, but it is something that I've personally kind of toyed around with as a concept before. Yeah, just a game where you... It, basically, this exact gimmick, right? Oh, fudge. It's, is it broken? It feels darker nearby. Um, yeah, when well, you're a kid trying to go around, like, turning off the lights for stuff. Alright, what does this note read? Small note. Light on the wall in the living room is broken. Don't touch it. If you think it's too dark, I'll put a new table lamp I brought for you in the bedroom. Oh, so if I... Yeah, but all that does is that just kind of gives me a little bit of... Yeah, it just gives me a little bit of light. Yeah, that wouldn't really be that useful, and yeah, I think I'd, I would need to do this one instead. Okay, nice dark spooky hallway. And... Yeah, here's Direx. Okay, Fragment 3. Now I wish I'd found the first one. Dad has been traveling a lot since you moved. Mom always works late and doesn't come home. I'm more and more afraid of the dark when I'm alone. Would they come back sooner if I behave better? I'll be a good girl, turn off all the lights in the house before going to bed. Ah, I see, okay. Yeah, so, sounds like the marriage is a little bit rocky. Yeah, sounds like things aren't going too well. The two lights in the hallway are connected together, the switch is near the living room, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And now here's the, th the question. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to rotate this. And that'll give me, like, this little sliver of light that'll hopefully... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, hopefully it'll be just enough. Oop, no. Oh, really? Okay. I thought it was, I thought it was far enough in that it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't grab me, but... Interesting that you need a light to do that. Yeah, that's a bit odd, but I, I guess it is what it is, but all right, so yeah, we kind of know the order of operations. That was just me being stupid. I, I don't even know if I need to... Yeah, I might not even need to do that. I might not even need to close the doors and stuff. I guess I'll try that and see, especially now that I know that it is going to risk killing me. Yeah, so let's rotate you again. Let's go up this way. And... Let's see, so... Yep, get a little bit back. Go off into here. Turn you off. Turn you off. And then off to sleep. Okay, yeah, so we don't even need to play with the thing. I, I'm not gonna worry about it. This is, yeah, I mean, I, I can tell there's like a bit of a dark story in the background here, but... This is nice. Yeah, it kind of, uh... It does some stuff that I, I almost wish that, what was it called? Among the Sleep had decided to do. Like, I wish there had been more. We were playing as like this kid who's trying to just go around and do stuff to like survive. Remember to remind me to remove the cardboard boxes from your bedroom, otherwise the door may be blocked. Oh, that's not good. The door is, 
potentially blocked there. I'm sure there's something in the dark. I saw it moving that day, but it disappeared as soon as I turned on the light. I told my mother, but she didn't believe me. She said, when I grow up, I can't be so willful. But I really saw it, and I didn't lie. Alright, so yeah, kiddo here is... Definitely, definitely seeing whatever's out there. Oh. Oh, and I bet that's timed. Dami brand microwave model oven, model T3, five seconds, heat quickly, delicious instantly. Do not look at the internal light for a long time the microwave oven is working. Okay. Yeah, so let's go do that. And there we go. Now if we go into here... Push away the debris with all of your strength. Oh, it's nice that it actually, like, dissolves, too. Yeah, it's nice that it just kind of goes away after that. I don't have to worry about it. Alright, so what's... What are my options here? What's the best way for me to... I guess if I rotate that down there, that seems like the most logical choice. Yeah, because I, I think if I flick this... Yeah, if I flick this, then I'm okay there. And then I'm going to go deal with the stuff in the hallway. I think that's going to be the best choice for me. So, turn you off. Yep, and then I'm back in the light. I mean, it's not... Yeah, I, I really can't have... Uh, I really can't think of anything that I would personally complain about with this. I mean, it just... The game works very well. Yeah. It, it's simple. And it it's nice little puzzles. And, um... Yeah, I mean, there's not really a lot to complain about. It works very, very well. It runs smoothly. Like I said, I think I, I well, what I hope, and I think that this is like the first of a few chapters that are planned. Um, what I hope is that they end up expanding, expanding a little more. Oh God. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, expanding a bit though, and having there be like active threats to the player. Okay. This might kill this kid. Yeah, this, uh, this, this place needs some serious, serious, like, visiting by an electrician. There we go, okay. And then if I turn you on, we go this way. Yeah, cause, like, this, this place, that's not safe. Like... Not even my haha -ha, funny OSHA jokes nonsense. Like, that's just... That's gonna get people killed. Um, let's see. So if I want to do this, so I think... Yeah, I mean, God, I think I'm gonna need to do... Yep, if I do that, and then if I go down... Oh, no. Ah, oh, fudge. Really? Yeah, no, okay, we're gonna get killed here, dang it. I, I just pressed the wrong button there, I was gonna try to rotate it. Yeah, so I think I need to- I need to turn that up the hallway, basically. Actually, yeah, let me open this up too. Yeah, I need to turn that up the hallway, so that way I can go up and I can turn off the other lights. Alright, so I hit you. Oh, fudge. Well, I'm dead again. Damn. Alright. Nope, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do what I just wanted to try to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, third time's a charm. I, I should've just stayed with what I knew would work. But I didn't, so... Is what it is. I know, really, I, I, I talk about it all the time, but I, I genuinely just love this idea. I love the whole light-dark dichotomy thing. I love how that works in games, and I feel like this one is just, it's checking a lot of the boxes, and I feel like every time that there's a game with it, I kind of say that, because it seems like just such a simple idea. But it's a simple idea that I feel like has so much potential that really, like, it doesn't ever get explored to the degree that I'd like to see it get explored. 
Okay. So, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. Yeah, that'll just just give me enough time to get down to this. Uh, let's hit you. And then let's pull these and go to sleep. Perfect. Yep, and then off to bed we go. I wonder how many levels of this there actually are. I don't recall there being a list on the itch page. Okay, that's a hallway. I mean, again, yeah, I guess I can always be doing this. So there is a bathroom. Seems to be locked. Mom's handwriting. I accidentally locked the bathroom door. Do you remember where the key is? Dad below wrote crook crookedly. I put it on the kitchen counter. Uh, so, all right. So they don't seem to be... Hmm. My initial impression when I read that first comment about the parents being gone a lot was that, like, maybe their marriage is unhappy or something? I'm not sure if that's actually the case now. What's this one say? In some places, one switch controls several lights. In some places, the light is controlled by several switches. Aren't there too many lights in this house? I don't think so. I don't know, again, maybe I'm just, like, the type of paranoid nut job that actually, you know, likes having a bunch of lights in his home, but... Alright. Well, let's, yeah, let's keep on looking around here. Uh, you lead to... Lead to that. Is that a diary entry? It is. I always feel safe when Mom is at home. My bed is next to her room. But sometimes I hear crying on the other side of the wall. Is Mom crying? I asked Mom, but she said it was probably dreaming. Okay, maybe take back what I just said. Maybe they actually really do have a pretty unhappy marriage. And it's just kind of falling apart. An ordinary key seems to be able to open a door. Yeah, that... That would be a real shame if that's the case. Like, I was lucky enough to have... I don't want to say the best home life. But, like... Well, I, actually, I, I don't. Even, I don't know if I want to talk about that. Uh, we'll, we'll just say it's always. That's always something that just. Uh, it kind of gets. I sort of feel it a little bit, I guess. Whenever there's like, oh yeah, you know, there's this story of you know, here's the kids, and yeah, it turns out their parents fucking hate each other, and like the kid is the one who ends up suffering during a situation like that. Yeah, and it's just. I don't know. It always just feels kind of tragic. But I, I don't know, maybe I'm just like a hopeless optimist. Alright, is there any other light on down here? No, so I can turn... If I can turn that off. Yeah, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll activate this, turn off the light above it, and then we are going right to bed here. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's definitely interesting, though. It's, uh... I don't know, it makes me just kind of, like, wonder what's the story. Okay, this is blocked by something. So we have long hallway. Kind of a big O shape. And then we have... Yeah, and then we have this room here. Okay, and this one... This one isn't doing so hot, so... How long does this last? You know, I guess I can just I can turn that off. And can I read this? I can. Tomorrow is my birthday. I hope Dad comes back in time. She didn't say anything, but I feel like she must have prepared a great gift. My birthday wish is very simple: grow up quickly and stop being afraid of the dark. And then Mom and Dad can spend more time with me. I mean, again, it just—it feels tragic. That—that's really the only word that I can think of for it. Like, it's just such a fucking shame. What's this one say? When you move, the box contained the lamp, seemed to have been full of water. Desk lamps turn off after more than ten seconds. Let's bear with it for now. We'll buy a new one as soon as possible. Yeah, I think it was kind of the same thing I got when I was playing uh, Among the Sleep. It, it just felt like a fucking tragedy. Alright, so... You. And you. And you. Let me go up here. Alright. Problem is that I think I just got this kid killed. Because I think what I needed to do is I needed to get... 
I needed to get to here and rotate that first, now that the light was on. Yeah, damn it. Okay. Well, again, I think I have an idea of what we're doing here. You know, I do like that the, uh, it, it's a hair slow. It would be nice if it was just a little quicker. But I do like that the, the reset time is pretty quick. And I also like that the levels are short enough. You never feel like you're getting too fucked over when it comes to, uh... Yeah, it never really feels like you're getting too fucked over when it comes to the, like, timing of things. Alright. Come on, just need it to reset, just need it to reset. There we go, there we go. And, alright, now that that's on, I can kick these boxes away. Open up you. And, let's see. Doesn't... Yeah, there's there's no way I'm able to get down to there. Which means... Yeah, I was gonna say, I must need to go use that lamp. I think that's really the only light that I saw that could do it. Perfect. And then, if we kick you... I can now open up all of these. Hey, there we go. Wonderful. So, let's see. What lights do I need to turn off? So I need to turn off both of you. Which, to do so, I'll probably just go from here up to here and do that. So it's really gonna be... I think it is just this light over here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. And then that should lead... Sorry, I was trying to move and scroll out at the same time. Yeah, I, that's actually something that would be nice to. It would be nice if I could scroll out and see everything and play the game like this. But I get it. The developer doesn't want people to do that for whatever reason, so... Yeah, so if I go up here, we hit this. No. No dying. And if we hit that, perfect. And... And if I turn you out... Yeah, and then there's this one light. Hopefully I can get there in time. Okay. And there we go. Mom well, said you turn off all the lights to see... What? Oh, fuck. I didn't realize there was, uh... Hmm. Well, this is a problem. Did I really just fuck myself again? Really? And I don't have, like... Yeah, there's no way to get light into here. I feel like, yeah, you should be able to at least maybe turn on the the lights there. Okay, hold on. Wait, what the fuck? So it wasn't in there. Alright, there must have just been another light somewhere. Maybe I'm just blind and missed it. Yeah, so let me... Let me see. Oh, did I not get this one? Am I... I'm a fucking moron. Yeah, okay. Well, third time's the charm again. Yeah, so we do all of that. We do... actually need to go rotate these out. Can do this. Yeah, I mean, it's, um... It's just a nice... It's a nice little game, though, really. This does a lot of stuff right. And it actually has a pretty nice little core gameplay loop. It runs pretty smoothly, too. Yeah, I never feel like I'm... I don't really ever feel super frustrated so far. I never feel like, for the most part, I'm dying because of bullshit. If I'm dying, it's it seems pretty much just because I've made mistakes. Now again, it would be nice if there was some little quality of life stuff. The versions or the ideas that I've always had for games like this always involve having a light, personally. Just some things that you can, like, you can quick see around you. But again... That's uh, the developer maybe didn't necessarily have that as part of their little vision for the game. Yeah, okay, so I, I do think I have the right idea here, though. I think I have the right idea, because I'll, I'll turn off you. We go up top. I keep on trying to, trying to do that. Yeah, so if I rotate you one more time. Yep, let's go... Let's go turn off this light. 
let myself recover a sec. I'll turn off this light. Alright, now let's double check this. So there is you, you. I, I don't see a fixed light anywhere in here, so I guess there's not one on the wall. Yeah, it probably was that, and I'm just stupid. Alright. Well, again, let's yeah, let, let's play it safe, because I don't want to get this kid killed, and I imagine you guys are probably getting bored of rewatching the same sequences over and over. So if we do that... If I turn off you... You... And you. Alright, there we go, nice. And on to the next level, yeah. I really wonder how many of these there are. Oh, okay, well there we go, so that was the end of Dark Phobia by Vitamyo. Designed loading. Uh, I actually like this a lot, genuinely. This was really enjoyable. I don't really have much to complain about, um... I mean, yeah, if this is just like an hour or two long game, this would be perfectly fine for a few bucks. It's... It's not cozy. It's like... It has kind of that very cutesy art style. But it's definitely not a cozy game. There is very clearly something dark going on here. Um, but no, I mean, it, it runs well. It has a nice core gameplay loop. As long as they keep on adding in more and more mechanics and stuff. You know, maybe in a full version of this, I'd like to see there be something out there. But at the same time, just having it be the darkness itself, I think is, uh, it's not a bad solution. Yeah, developers, nice work. Keep it up, and I'm actually really excited to see where this one goes in the future. Now, this feels like it has a lot of potential. But we'll have to go ahead and see. So, thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching Dark Phobia. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you felt about this one. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon. <laughs>